My name is Juan Cartagena. I'm the, I work here at Latino Justice. I also do a, uh, quite a bit of cultural work um, that stems from my love of the drums of Puerto Rico. I am a volunteer executive director of what's called the Segunda Quimbamba. The group itself, Segunda Quimbamba, is pretty eclectic. You know, the currency they has a doo-wop, for example. What's your name? It has, it has a, a Latino rock song made famous by the group Santana that's called Soul Sacrifice. It's got very traditional bomba songs, like a song called Anaiso. And it's got fusions of other drumming form. That's a reflection of who we are. I mean, as much as you hear me say a million times, we preserve it, we want to preserve it, the drums, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. The, we have to be real. We live in the United States. The influences in our music is completely representative of all the musics in the United States. I don't just play drums to put this in a museum piece and say, this is a wonderful drum that has, you know, 300 years of history. Come look at it. No. We play drums so we can adapt it to something that resonates with you, the audience. And if they see in doo-wop a connection between a drum that's been around in Puerto Rico over 150 years and what resonates with them, then I just hit a home run. For me, the aspects of drumming in Puerto Rico and the work and time I spent into documenting it, researching it, writing about it, um, and performing it is not that dissimilar from what I do in my regular job. As an institution, we're concerned about the way the country deals with the marginalized sections of the community. The drums of Puerto Rico get mar were marginalized forever when it came to bomba and to some extent plena, uh, actually to a large extent plena. Uh, that was seen as other kind of music. You know, Bomba was very, very unique to the, 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 the black sections of Puerto Rico. So the, those neighborhoods, those families, it was considered black music. So nobody wanted to even touch it. Plena is also marginalized, both because it has a drum, but also because it's working class music. See, Plena grew up in the working class ghettos of Ponce. So therefore, to preserve the music, for me, is a marker. I am Puerto Rican because I know these drums. We are always looking for markers. We're looking for identity markers and cultural things that we can revolve around and enjoy and celebrate. And that's what drums are, for me anyway. Elena, 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 Elena me dijo a mí, yo me voy papito santo pa pueblo de Manatí. Yo me voy papito santo pa pueblo de Manatí. Elena, si tú bien sabes, Elena, si tú bien sabes, me tienes que comprender que cuando salgo los viernes lo que hago es beber, que cuando salgo los viernes lo que hago es beber.